All right, all right, check me out, y'all. I'm a little late with this tutorial video, but better late than never, right? Better late than never. So here I'm showing y'all how to do the arches of your snapback hats on a standard hat hoop. I'm going to show you how I hoop it, and I'm going to show you how I digitize for it. So I just start with a single piece of tearaway backing and fold it in half. And I actually hoop the backing onto the hoop with my hat. So it's all hooped together. That's going to give you a nice solid base to work with. Everything will move together. Won't get any bunching of your backing or anything like that. So you can see I use the tabs, the wings of the snapback. I use the top of those in my clamp to get a good alignment going. Um, and you really want to make sure that you're getting a flat surface on your arch. And this is a good way to make sure that you're getting a consistent. This is a closer look. You can see how I have it lined up. And that's going to give you a consistent hoop every time right there. All right, and here is where I'm going to use my measuring tape in order to measure for my digitizing. So say I wanted to just do a two inch long design. I use my one inch center to center it. And then I put the tops of my measuring tape right at the edge. Now that's just an example if I'm doing a two inch design. My design is actually three and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out three and a half inches. You see I'm doing the same thing, going all the way down to the top of my measuring tape at three and a half inches. I keep my center right there, 1.75 in the So then you go and you use your measuring tape and you can measure straight across your design and see that it is three and a half inches. That's what I measured on my hat. I'm following that arch seam. And then you're gonna to wanna to use that against the center line at the bottom of your design. You also see that, that green and red little dot right there, that's your center line. I use that in order to go right above the seam so that I know where I need to start my machine. You know what I'm saying? That way I know whenever I line it up in the middle right there, it's gonna follow